Hi, I'm Jay from Family Handyman, and I want to help you rethink the way you buy paint. When we walk into a paint store, the first thing we see are walls of beautifully lit color. But let's get past that and think about the formulation of paint first, and the color will come later. Now the first thing to talk about is sheen. And while sheen can be up to personal preference much of the time, there are some rules of thumb we want to follow. So for kitchens or bathrooms where there is a higher moisture content, we want to stick with a higher sheen, such as a semi-gloss or even a high gloss. They're going to be easier to clean and give you better moisture resistance. For ceilings, on the other hand, we want to stick with a flat or matte sheen. We don't want a lot of high reflection coming from the ceiling. For walls, we can hit the middle ground with an eggshell or a satin. So most paint manufacturers are offering two-in-one formulations, paint and primer all in one. And some are even boasting single coat coverage. These sound great, but the idea should be taken with a grain of salt. Lighter colors over a darker color, or even on bare drywall, we're still going to need to prime that surface before we paint. So when it finally does come down to color, you have a lot of tools available to you. Those little cards, however, are probably not going to cut it. My suggestion is to buy sample colors and actually paint a large portion of your wall with them. You're going to see how that color interacts with the environment around it, as well as how that sheen that you've chosen is going to look. So let me leave you with one final tip. When you're done painting, inevitably you're going to have some leftover. And the worst thing we can do is leave it in that big gallon can. Pour it into a mason jar and seal it tight. The less air we have in the can, the longer that paint is going to stay fresh. For more great information on paint and painting, visit FamilyHandyman.com.